Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm making this YouTube video mid-project um, because I, I wanted to like stop before I got too far ahead of myself. I thought other people might benefit from this, so I'm going to go ahead and make this tutorial on ESP32 camera module that is also Wi-Fi enabled with an SD card. I am actually mid-project of a hidden spy camera type, security camera type, garden gnome type thing. I was going to make a garden gnome and then poke its eye out and put this little circle in the eye socket of the gnome and then it would be in a glass waterproof enclosure outside and i don't use a whole lot of lingo or tech lingo in any of my tutorials or at least i try not to I try to avoid it but anyways i try to appeal to anyone from any background learning this stuff i want to go ahead and show you guys the stuff that i took to because uh, to, to get this working because it was a, a bit confusing on occasion. This has a CH340 chip, not FTDI. So FTDI and, and CH340 are basically just a chip that allows your computer, whether you have a Mac or Windows, the operating system on your computer to interact with the board whether it's, and, and it's called an interface, like this is a micro USB interface that uses a CH340, which is a cheap version of a chip that connects the board to your computer so that your operating system can recognize it as a device. And so you need to install um, the CH340 driver if you haven't already. All of this code is pre-written. It's an example code and um, it's free for use. If you usually work with CH340 chips, then you probably already have it installed. I do. A lot of my Arduino Nanos are knockoffs from Amazon, so they come with the CH340 chip and not the FTDI chip. Anyways, I will walk you through the code on how to install the board in your Arduino IDE for this, as well as um, the example code that I've used and that I will show you guys how to use. And it's really neat because it shows you how to video stream everything from this module to a website um, that is created with the code and everything. So all you have to do is download the board information, upload the script, and type in the IP address. You have to find the IP address. If you know how to do that, great. Um, if you don't, then one method of how to find your IP address once this is loaded and it's an active server, you're going to find the address usually or best by going on your Wi-Fi router homepage um, or admin page, whatever it's called in your, wherever you are. And um, it should allow you a list or table documenting like all the devices that are connected on your home network um, and I have multiple networks on my router so like make sure that when you put in your you're gonna need your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password but it's really easy don't stress out it's okay it's fine it's gonna be great and um, I will say there are a lot of boards and identifying the type of board can be a bit hectic but don't worry um, I know that if you read closely here you can actually see where it says on the orange ribbon cable there should be like a V to or version number and anyhow this is the inside of it and it has the wi-fi module there but um this is active right now i will actually show you it's upside down but it's it's fine um i'm going to record my screen so you can see this working live okay so this is my keyboard <laughs> And this is pretty neat of a camera. It's a little dark in here, so the camera isn't that great at picking up light, but for the most part, it is really gnarly. Oh, my hair is so frizzy. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and jump to the code. Let me go ahead and show you guys all of these little features and ability to change the orientation of your camera screen. So the quality is not that bad. You can add special effects to it. Um, that is neat. Um, let's see, red tint. Ooh, ooh, fancy. I didn't even know this. Okay, this is really cool. <laughs> I'm really into this right now. Okay. Okay, moving on. Um, web mode office. Is that me? Oh, 
change the hue a little bit, okay. Anyhow, um, there's just so much you can change. Or you're able to stop stream and then hit X to close it out and then you can start it back up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the code on how to make this exactly. First of all, you will need to go and download the ESP32, not driver, the board. Um, so you know how when you go to tools and then you go to board, um, if you only have Arduino board or Arduino AVR boards, here, that is fine. That's what you begin with when you first download Arduino IDE, but you'll need ESP32 Arduino, which is a whole another array of boards. Um, basically, you would need to go to Arduino preferences and then go and type in where it says additional board managers. Um, it's one URL per line, and it's this first one here that you're going to actually, I'll go ahead and increase it. It is this, you're gonna type all this in. I mean, you can go ahead and type in both actually, cause both you'll probably use in the future. But um, this top one here is what we're working with. Um, so not ESP8266, it is ESP32. So um, once you put that in, go ahead and close this out and make sure it's still in there. When you close it out, additional board managers and it still has that, hit okay. Oh, let me just open up the, Sketch. Okay, that will allow you to go to boards, and then you are going to go to you won't you still won't have this pop up, but you're gonna want to go to boards managers, boards manager, whatever. You're gonna pull up this and type in ESP32. You would just click install. It'll take like a couple minutes. Once you have that installed, then you will be able to go to board, and you will have the option for ESP32 Arduino. For my ESP32 module, I have used this AI Thinker ESP32 hyphen cam. And then you want to, you can get the board info. If you click here, tools, and then get board info, it'll show you the nerdy stats for this stuff. Select the port that it is on and then get board info. This doesn't always work. If it says native serial port can't obtain info, that's usually what happens to me anyways. So all you have to do is go to serial monitor instead. And that actually reveals uh, a lot of times straight from the manufacturer, sometimes they have scripts on it. It'll tell you the board's info um, on occasion. Um, if you aren't sure, just leave it at 240. Um, but again, use the get board info and it'll tell you all this stuff. Um, mine is 40 megahertz, not 80. So I went and changed that. I don't know what that is or that is. And regardless, I didn't change them and uploaded the sketch and it worked fine. So, okay, so you're gonna go to examples and then, okay, ESP32 camera and then camera web server. So again, file, examples, ESP32, camera, camera web server. You're gonna open this up. And then where it says const char SSID and const char password, that's your SSID is your Wi-Fi name. Um, your password is obviously your Wi-Fi password. You're gonna put it inside of the quotation marks. Do not erase the quotation marks. So let's go ahead and when you verify it, it'll take a while and then upload. And um, as it uploads, by the way, you don't need to uncomment any of these. It's already uncommented the defined statement that is chosen for your board. I don't know why it's red. I wish it were like white or something nice. Red is kind of scary. The only struggle is finding the IP address. It's going to be an IP that is given to your device, this device, by your router. So um, it's going to be a private IP address. So it's not going to be, you know, ported over to some local, you know, it won't have a name or anything um, attached to the IP address. It's just an IP address and it's only accessible from your personal home network. You can't go to your friend's house and access you know, type in that IP address and access the same thing. It's a totally different thing. Later, I will post a video on how to watch it from like an actual server outside of your home network. So if you are going away and you wanted to see what was at your home, you can do that. This is just a simple little how to actually get it working. So this script has the, um, it does tell you the Wi-Fi address, or I'm sorry, the IP address to connect to it. This is loading. If your IP address was not in the serial monitor, then you can copy 
copy this MAC address or remember it, and then you will go on your Wi-Fi admin page, go to home network, and it should have a table that shows you all the connected devices currently, as well as their IP address, MAC address, current status, and signal strength, which I really like. This is the correct MAC address. It is connected. This is the IP address. Go ahead and pop this into your browser. You just hit start stream and voila. Anyways, I try to make tutorials where I can, when I can for you guys and in a simple way because a lot of people are very technical, which is great. They're bright people in this world, but um, these are things I wish I had available to me when I was learning. So I hope that I can be of help to some people. So thank you for watching and you guys have a good day. My initial project was to make this garden gnome hidden spy camera, security camera, because somebody in my parking lot is just, or somebody in my, I don't know who, somebody is just like throwing trash in the parking lot um, and I'm not like a Karen or anything, but I definitely <laughs> I have a thing against littering. It's just not one piece of trash. It's like a whole, somebody just dumped fast food out and it's not just once, it's all the time. It's like a consistent thing. And I just feel like of all the trash cans that are around here, dude, literally it's less than 20 feet away in a party. It's like somebody opens their door, dumps out their Sonic McDonald's. That's why I hate fast food because like it just, I see the litter everywhere and it's just so sad. And um, I just want to see who's doing it. I don't know. I just, for my personal, I just need to know who's doing it so I can let them know, you know, hey, if you want a trash can, you can use mine or use yours. Let me find out you live here. So anyways, moving on, <laughs> bye.